Hey Pals and welcome back to the start of another video. So you guessed it, today is a very exciting day because I am actually surprising my boyfriend who lives in Colorado um, for his birthday. So his birthday is actually tomorrow but I'm going to drive in so I'm going to get there tonight. I don't even know how I'm going to surprise him yet. I had an idea of, so this box right here is his present so I like faked a shipping label on it and um thought I could just put it outside of his house and then just be around the corner or something and just like wait to see his reaction and then walk out or something like that I don't know but um his dad asked me what I wanted to do and I was like if you have any ideas then let me know and I can do that um I just don't know the area that well or what to do so we'll see how that goes you guys stay tuned um, but for now, I have a long drive ahead of me, so it's time to hit the road. This is like the most stuff I've ever brought anywhere in a long time, because, probably ever actually, because on the race, obviously, we only had our big pack and our little pack. Um, but today, I'm bringing the big suitcase and my tent, just in case, boots, because he actually loves two-stepping or swing dancing, all of that stuff. Um, so I, I'm gonna bring it just in case because this is probably like the only time I'll have I mean if I drive it again, then I'll bring them but like, you know flying with them. They're so big So I always bring a carry-on when I fly anyway I have to bring his present and another present for my family that stuff and my backpack so I gotta get that all in the car and Fill up with some gas and get on the road. I am so excited. Why am I not in focus? And I have been so like good nervous like with butterflies for the past few days because i'm just like ready to start the trip you know what i'm saying like the anticipation is just like oh i'm just ready to go so i'm really excited and i'm gonna bring you guys along the way all right y'all i am in kansas um i think i'm roughly about three hours from the border to colorado and then it's another probably two hours i'm assuming i'm about five hours out is what my maps is telling me so i should get there just after six I'm getting so excited. It's actually gone by like really fast. Um, my aunt and uncle, they also drive out to Colorado like relatively often because they're, one of their kids lives out here. Um, so they told me, they were like, make sure that you stop where they have gas and bathrooms because Kansas, you could wind up 300 miles where there's nowhere to go or whatever. So I got nervous and I turned off when I still had like 100 miles in my tank. So I'm already good on gas. I have about 400 miles in my tank and there's less than 400 miles to go. So I'll probably stop like half an hour out to use the bathroom, fill up on gas again, and then see where Hudson Boy is at so that I don't <laughs> ruin the surprise accidentally. Everyone is in on it. I asked his parents like two weeks ago and they were like, yeah, totally come. And then I just told um, two of my squad mates that moved out there, um, I think on Monday, so they've known for a couple days, and his brothers all know now, and so I'm getting really excited. I think his dad is going to help me pull this off. Um, he just asked me where I was, and I was like, middle of nowhere, Kansas. Shout out to all my Kansas sites. I don't know what you guys call yourself. Kansans? Um, Kansas is really, really pretty. A lot of windmills. I love driving through Oklahoma, and I know a lot of people think that's weird, but Kansas is similar, but it definitely looks very different. Like Oklahoma, I don't even know, like Oklahoma, we don't have very many windmills anywhere. It's just like fields, and it looks a lot more like hay instead of grass, I feel like, in a lot of places. And it just looks so pretty, contrasted against the blue sky. Um, right now, I'll show you what it looks like in Kansas, in case you guys have never been. I can't tell what you're looking at. Yep, there it is. Oh. The windmills. All right, I'll check in later. All right, guys, it's happening. You see the sun. Welcome to Colorado. It means I'm here. <laughs> okay, so right after I recorded that, me entering the state, my parents called because um, they're actually on a trip to Virginia. What is happening? Um, so they called me, gave me an update. I updated them, but I ended up being on the phone with them for like 40 minutes. And then right after that, um, Hudson's dad called me because we made a plan. He's gonna invite Hudson to dinner and then I'm just gonna be at the restaurant already. Hopefully he doesn't like, see my car. I'll have to park it strategically. Um, and then Hudson's gonna walk in. Oh, I'm, I'm kind of freaking out because 
because I'm so excited. You know, like when you get those excited butterflies, I just really hope that this plan works. Anyway, so his dad's gonna figure out a restaurant for me to go to. I'm just gonna keep him updated. But anyway, what I was gonna say is, it was so interesting as I was about to cross the state line, it was raining like really hard for like maybe a minute and then it was light raining before and after that. And then right after that, clear skies. So I was like, wow. Colorado, you miss me so much, you cry tears of happiness. <laughs> That's what I'm choosing to believe, not that it's a bad sign that I shouldn't have come. Um, but anyway, Hudson, when you see this, I hope you're so excited and so shook. <laughs> Your dad told me that you said to him that you think I'm in Virginia, and I was like, I feel so guilty that I've lied to him. He's like, it's lying for a good cause, and I was like, you're right. So, I will see you soon, boy. Oh, I'm so excited! I just wanted everybody to know that this is what Colorado looks like. <laughs> it's not all Rockies, you know what I'm saying? This is what I've been driving in. But I'm ready to get to the Rockies. We know and love, baby. I'm not 40 minutes away. I guess I can show you my excited face. Hey guys, there they are. Can you see the mountains? We're coming for you. Shots right here. <laughs> Hudson's opening his present. Oh, they did good, huh? Oh, this one didn't do so good. <laughs> Yay! Are you so excited? Oh, baby, look at all those things. That's correct. 22. <laughs> That's correct. 52. Just kidding. Oh. Where are we? Vistrom or Vistrom Vitrom. <laughs> Get the B and the V mixed up. This <laughs> was just brought out we something link. Yes, but this is bread and butter. Oh, I guess I can. <laughs> Have you ever tasted? Now we have some muscles. Ooh, some more muscles. Hey yo. <laughs> and escargot. Hey snails. I'm nervous. <laughs> Are you excited? Yes, I am. <laughs> Who are you about to have? This is a snail. Also known as escargot. Wow, just downing them. This was my efforts. I cut it up and then I ate it. Happy birthday. <laughs> okay, end of birthday. I love when I get this close to the camera. How was it? It was a great day. Do you feel ready for year 22? Absolutely, and starting out so strong. What was your favorite part? Seeing you. What was your favorite gift? You. That doesn't count if it's me. Uh, the picture of you. No, oh, that can't be your favorite. That's good. That's gonna be. Which one got you like most excited though? The picture of my wallet. Okay, second favorite. Um. Uh, I didn't explain this to to this video. <laughs> I didn't explain this in this video. There we go. I got him 22 things, ranging from serious to practical to funny to. A honey roast is what I will say. So, out of the 22, besides the picture. Then probably your dress. <laughs> Which I'm wearing! <laughs> okay, well, all this is about me. That's not what the point of this was supposed to be. Do you have anything else you want to say? I just like you a lot. More. <laughs> it's so cute. Okay! Maybe I'll record more later, we'll see. Okay, so it is now 
Monday the 3rd, two days after Hudson's birthday. And he has work off today. So, but he's actually at this lady's house um, giving her a bid on her lawn for how much um, they would charge her and stuff like that. So even on his off days, he's working. But I just wanted to brag on him before he gets back. Maybe he'll catch me, I don't know. Um, but on his birthday, we went and helped someone move things um, from their house to their friend's house. Um, and he hung out with a 12 year old boy all day and played games with him. He just like can't help but serve people and just be selfless and just be kind. Like he's just the most perfect human being. And then at night, like in, in the morning too, he made me breakfast and I was like, fam, it's your birthday. Like, <laughs> let me serve you. Um, but it was such a fun day and I'm just so glad that I got to be a part of it. And so now I'm just sitting in his truck waiting for him. And I don't know what we're gonna do the rest of the day. He has like two things that he wants to do. And one of them is go buy new jeans. <laughs> There's like very few things that Hudson is actually particular about. And that's one of them. And I think that's the funniest thing ever. So this will be so fun. <laughs> Where are we? <laughs> we are at the famous and the one and only Chrisley Rose. <laughs> are you excited? I'm very excited. Look what I even wore for him. And she is smoking. Pay <laughs> <laughs> <Hey> for me. <laughs> Get excited for who's out on the dance floor tonight, baby. <laughs> she running man 3000 in the house. <laughs> Oh yes, deep thoughts. <laughs> no. Horizon. No! <laughs> Did you know that's how you say it? I've had a brain fart. Hi. Horizon. Horizon. <laughs> how were you saying it? Horizon. Horizon. Was it Horizon? Horizon? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You make fun of me, so this is reaping what you sow. Hello from Hudson and I. Hello. We, uh, we just went for a little stroll. Actually, we went for a drive to Wyoming. And then we thought, hmm, what is close? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> yes, we are at Mount Rushmore. Let's get a good look. <laughs> oh, let's get the zoom. <laughs> this is just like a cinematic movie. Oh, yes. Which one's your favorite? Yours. Okay, that was pretty good. Okay guys, well I'm actually gonna end this video here. So something kind of big happened that led to me staying in Colorado for a few more weeks. So there is another video about my time in Colorado. Something kind of crazy that I did after the thing that happened that led me to staying in Colorado. So you're just gonna have to stay tuned to figure out what I'm talking about. Um, so I'll start the next video explaining that story a little bit, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching me surprising my boyfriend. It was a really fun time spent in Colorado, getting to hang out with him and his family. Um, but that's it for now, so I hope you guys had a great day, whatever day of the week it is, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, pals.